Hey, hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. Buckle up. I don't even know how to describe what you're about to watch, but it's absolute insanity. So if you enjoy, like and subscribe. Let's get to it. I showed up to play poker with my buddy Anthony. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've heard his name come up frequently. We've played a lot of hours together. Anthony is a solid player. A lot of pre-flop aggression, good bet sizes, mixes in smart bluffs. He always supports the channel and he's a hell of a husband, father, and just an all around good guy. He's probably one of the best one, two players in Orange City. However, that's not the guy who showed up today. When I came in, he was talking about how terribly he had been running. Then I watched him flip over hands like nine, three and six deuce. He's sucking out on people and betting into others with fourth pair. His VPIP has to be 90% and his PFR frequency is probably close to that. He's playing like an absolute maniac and it's thrown this whole table into chaos as no one knows what to expect. Right before this first hand of the night, Anthony said he was gonna knock off all the horse play. Then he looked down at his cards and he said, maybe not. He's in under the gun and he opens for $15. The action on me and I peek down at two kings and I three bet to $45. Right, I want some of this dumbass action. It folds back to Anthony who gives me a look. Maybe it's aces? Maybe if you got it, rip it. Come on. Back Come on. On. He rips it and I snap. Turns out we're up against pocket queens. We're in great shape. The flop is seven, five, four with two spades. The turn is a four of spades and the river is a three of diamonds. So we're gonna get this one. That was a fun hand. There's a button straddle, we're in plus two, we look down at ace four offsuit. We see one limp before it gets to me and I bump it up to $15. We get three callers, so we're going to a flop four ways. The flop is ace queen seven rainbow, so I flop top pair. It checks to me and I put a bet of $25 out. It folds back to under the gun who then raises all in for 62 total. I call, but I know I'm behind. Oh shit. Oh. I'm way behind. Not anymore. He rolls over a seven for a better two pair. Nice hand, sir. We're straddling from the button and we look down at pocket nines. We see one call from the small blind before it folds to Anthony who bumps it up to $15. Action on me and I three bet to $45. The small blind folds and is back on Anthony. He asks if I want content. You want content? If you're asking that, then I know I'm ahead right now. You are. <laughs> He calls. The flop is ace 10 8, and we check it through. The turns are two of spades, and once again, we check it through. The river is an ace of spades, and for a third time, we check it through. I roll it over, and he shows me 10 3 offsuit for the winner. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you bet any of those streets? Anthony caught a piece, so he wasn't going anywhere. I actually saved money on this hand. I'm excited to announce Kyle Fischel and I will be getting our meetup game started back up. And the first one of 2023 is on Saturday, January 21st at 1 p.m. It's a 1-3 no limit with a $10 bomb pot each dealer change. If you want to see what one of these games is like, check out episode 50 or episode 53 on my channel. You'll see just how crazy they can get. We were in plus two and we looked down at Queen Jack off suit. It folds to me and I raised to $15. It folds back to Anthony, who's the only caller, so we're off to a flop heads up. The flop is king 10 six with two hearts. So I flopped an open ended straight draw. Anthony checks and I put out a C bet for $25. Anthony makes the call. So we're off to the turn. The turn is a four of clubs an absolute blank. Anthony checks and I decide to go ahead and slow down and check behind. The river is a board pairing king of diamonds. So I have missed completely. Once again, Anthony checks and I can't win by checking. So I fire for $65. I'm trying to make it look like value with a king. Back to Anthony, and he starts to reach for chips. Oh, what are you doing? Let the YouTuber have one. He calls, and he wins with six deuce. The irony, I told him to go back to playing hands like six deuce maybe five minutes before this. This hand's gonna get a little bit messy. We're in the big blind, and we look down at ace four off suit. I'm missing some footage, but basically we had a limp from the cutoff before Anthony raised on the button to $25 on me and I have an ace in my hand. So that has to be ahead of Anthony. So I re-raised to hundred dollars. It's back on the cutoff who then jams for $109 total. Kind of forgot about that guy. Oops. Oh, he's in too. Yep. Oh, that's not good. I have to call now. He's a Action on Anthony. And then he re-raises all in. I only have 81 bucks behind. So I call.
The runout does not improve us, and the cutoff immediately flips over pocket eights for the boat. I show my hand at Anthony Muck, so I was correct. I did have him pre-flop. The damn cutoff just got in the way. Once again, we're straddling from the button. We look down at ace 10 off suit. Folds all the way around to Anthony, who bumps it up to $15. It folds to me, and I've got an ace in my hand, so I'm ahead. I three bet to $100. Anthony calls off for less, about 90 bucks total, and turns out I'm up against pocket sevens, a pure flip. The board runs out with no improvement to my hand, and Anthony's going to win another one for me. We're in the cutoff when we look down at King Queen of Hearts. We see a limp from Anthony before the hijack bumps it up to $10. I won't lie, I'm a little tilted that I can't beat my buddy, so I re-raised to $35. Folds back to Anthony, who surprisingly folds. The hijack, however, has other ideas, and he jams all in for $100. I'm all in. What? Didn't you just get here? Players all in. Is this? I call. It's his very first hand. There's no way he has aces. Once again, we cannot improve on a flop, and it turns out he did have aces. Ah. We then went through a series of all ins involving Anthony, and this one he has pocket kings, and his hand holds up three ways, and he just continues to push chips around. Another three way all in, and this time Anthony has aces. What the f Unfortunately, his opponent rivers a straight and he loses this one. Not long after that, Anthony gets involved in another monster. He bet $80 on the river on a 5988 deuce board. The opponent on my left then rips it for 380 total. Anthony's in the tank for well over two minutes, so he's gotta have a monster also. He then flips over the ace of clubs, so it is a monster. After about another minute, he eventually calls and his opponent flips over pocket nines for the boat. Wow. We're five handed, we're under the gun and we look down at king queen off suit. I open the action for $10 and I get two callers so we'll go to a flop three ways. The flop is seven, eight, 10 with two clubs so I have two overs and a backdoor flush draw. Anthony checks and desperate to try to get some of my chips back, I see bet $35. The button calls and Anthony ends up folding so the opposite of what I wanted actually happened. We're off to a turn heads up. The turn's an eight of clubs, so now I've picked up a flush draw. Feeling tilted, I go ahead and ship it for about 120 bucks. The button calls for less, about oh, 70 shit, I bucks. I need good. some help. The river does not give us help in the jack of diamonds. My opponent flips over ace eight and he wins. Frustrated and just dumping chips, before the hand was dealt, I said any face card or any suited cards and I'm jamming. Why not get both with ace deuce of diamonds? The action isn't important. I'm all in for 46 bucks and Anthony calls. He shows pocket five, so I'm live. And he flops a set. Seems like I can only beat myself at this point. Anthony has literally tried to give me my money back, but it's just not my day. So I wrap it up and I call it a night. Okay, so we will wrap that one up. Not exactly how I wanted the night to go. Feels like the only person I could beat at that table was myself. Um, yeah, all all poker strategy just went out the window, man. That was just a, a gamble fest and it's fun, but unfortunately those can get expensive. So we were into the game for $600, out for a big fat goose egg, zero. If you enjoy, like and subscribe, and see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more poker content. And you can follow me on Instagram at 7cardflushpoker.